that verse. So you should thank that verse, that that verse said, listen, if they want to live in peace, if they're willing to live under your government, if they're willing to pay taxes, then you leave them alone. I'm, I, I remember a little verse. But isn't it, if so, so far, we're still searching for that verse, which says, go and kill every Christian and every yeah, Jew. Yeah. Don't let them forget that. Yeah, yeah. Don't let them forget that. going to bring us to the next I'm verse. To the next one. Yeah. But that's the worst they could find, if you think about it. 929, that's the worst that they could find. And that one says, after, after you beat them in a battle, if they want to live under your government, they want to live in peace, they're willing to pay the tax, no problem. But well, you've got to remember, I'm not a Christian. Yeah, yeah. It says, oh, you who believe... That applies to Jews as well, too, though, 929. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you who believe, do not take Jews and the Christians for intimate friends. Hmm. Now, that's what I'm saying. For intimate friends, they are friends to each other. Whoever takes them as intimate friends is one of them. One of them. Yeah. Okay. And one of them, surely Allah does not take unjust people so, to. How, how, can, how can this gentleman say that we can marry I'm not talking about that, I'm I'm talking Christian about or Jews girl? No, I'm not talking about women, I'm talking about ordinary people. Yeah, even, even friends. Even friends. Even friends. Just female. I want to warm my hands. Yes. Sorry, I want to warm my hands. If Allah, okay. if, if, no, if Allah is totally prohibiting, prohibiting to take the Jews and Christians as intimate friends. No, I'm just... No, 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 forget about the woman. Clear I'm not... No, good question, good question. Yeah, good question. Good question, yeah, good question. So his question is that if the Quran is saying do not take unbelievers as close intimate friends, then how elsewhere in the Quran can it allow me to marry a Jewish and Christian woman and she can remain Jewish and Christian? So a very good question. This is a good question now. Finally, we got a good question. And the answer to that question is that the verse that he read, Muslim scholars, just like Christian scholars, will try to reconcile biblical verses, right? So Muslim scholars will reconcile Quranic verses, and they will say that that verse is talking in a, on a communal level, on a political situation. In other words, it's not saying Sadat, don't take a Jew or a Christian. I know you're not either one. But it, th that verse is not saying Sadat on an individual level, on a neighborly level, don't take a, Muslim, uh, don't take a Jew or a Christian as an intimate friend. It's saying Saudi Arabia, don't trust America. Iran, don't trust America. Pakistan, don't trust Israel. So it's on a communal political level. Okay. Now, as far as the individual level goes, so, uh, I have to say, I have to say one more thing. Uh, isn't the same message to you also? No, 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 no. On, not on an individual only, level. Only to, only to Saudi Arabia on, or Muslim. On a, on a uh, communal uh, level, on a communal level, do not take the unbelievers as protecting friends. And even on an individual level, I will not take an unbeliever as a protecting friend, as a protecting friend. On this point, so I have wife, to agree with the if Bible. You, if you take, uh, take on a this, wife, uh, yeah. and you haven't taken uh, She's not my protector. Uh, I'm her protector. Not, oh, okay. I trust She's myself to your, protect her. Protector, I protect uh, her. She is an intimate uh, uh, Friend of She's you. an intimate friend, but not a protecting friend. She's not a protecting friend. On this that's, point, that's funny. <laughs> it's funny because it agrees with the Bible. That's, On this point, we completely funny. agree with the Bible. On this point, that's we completely agree with the Bible. Because the Bible yes. says in 2 John, many deceivers have yes. gone out into the world who do not confess Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Uh, many look to deceivers, yourselves. Many yeah. deceivers okay. have gone out. Look, yeah, look to yeah. yourselves Those who don't that believe we do not lose that these Jesus things. One has minute. become a... We believe he came in the flesh. It didn't say become flesh. It said came in the flesh. <laughs> so, so these people... So who, who are those? These people... Okay, let's say it's who Muslims. We're, I'm happy to accept as Muslims. Now it says about these people, it says, if anyone comes to you and does not bring this doctrine, do not receive him into your house, That's nor true. greet him. So That's you're not true. even supposed to say hello to me. That's true. And according to his faith, he can't let you into his house. That's true. And he can't let me into his house. That's true. I don't believe but in my Jesus. faith, That's my faith, That's Islam allows you to come into my house. If I choose to let you into my house, you can come into my house. You can come into my house. I don't even know what you believe. You can come into my house. But according to his faith, I'm a dirty non-Christian and I cannot come into where's your the house. Love of Jesus? Yeah. So where's the love of Jesus love at this of point? Jesus says, also, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Love of Jesus do says, not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. So according to his faith, which he's not telling you, 
He's, he's trying to tell you how bad Coke is. He doesn't want to describe his Pepsi, if you understand what I'm saying. According to his faith, he cannot marry a Muslim woman anyways. So even if Islam allowed me to, to marry my sister to you, your book will stop you. Your book says, do not no, be yoked. No, no, no. Do book, not be unequally book, yoked book, with unbelievers. My book clearly says, and even Jesus clearly says, that love your uh, enemies and pray for those who even hate you. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. No. And you pray are escaping from this point. Persecute. Persecute. Yeah. But you cannot pray for me while I'm in your house because I cannot come into your house. Oh. You cannot pray for a Muslim lady while she's your wife because she cannot be your wife. Your Bible stops you. Your Bible stops okay. you from marrying those Muslims and Jews. No. Do my not Bible, be my, my, unequally my yoked Bible together says, with unbelievers. My, my, so what does Bible it mean? clearly says that uh, Give the message of Jesus that uh, we This is still called running away you. from the topic. You see how I answered your questions directly? You're not answering directly. You're just talking about love, love, love. No. I'm asking you, what does this mean? Do not let them into your house. Do not be yoked with them. Do not be yoked with them. What does that mean? You're not supposed to associate with unbelievers, right? So you should agree. You cannot be close, intimate friends with Muslims. You cannot be close, intimate friends yeah, with Muslims. Muslims. It's not my Quran stopping you. I'm saying that your own Bible no, is stopping you. Sure. Your Quran is clearly saying, do not, do not have intimate friends. Uh, awliya means also protectors as well. So protecting friends. Do not take America as your protecting friend, which every Muslim country does. See, I answer the questions. You are twisting, no. I answer the questions. You don't twist. Quran, you don't even touch are, the topic. You are twisting your Quran, no. Uncle, yes. uncle, I, it would be an improvement if you twisted the verse. You, you're not even twisting. You're running away. I'm saying, what does it mean? Explain to no. us. Do not be yoked with the unbelievers. What does it mean? But, uh, Tell us. Uh, read, read the other passage where Jesus says, Okay, love us. Love I, got your, love I got it. I got it. I got it. Love as yourself. Excellent. Love okay. your neighbor even. Okay, so tell us what this I verse means. Shall Notice Shall it doesn't answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall I answer it? Next verse ahead, is going to bring us now to the next. Unbeliever. Right? In the book there, yeah. unbeliever means non Christian. Right, right, so right. It's saying when. He said, when you're a Christian and you believe in Jesus and all that, and you have a, a non-believer coming, that person or person's weather will change your mind. Fair enough, you'll, fair you'll, enough. You will start thinking what they're thinking. Fair and enough. you will start doing what they're doing. He knows this answer. And your faith will become weak. Just like yeah. the Muslim. He knows this answer, but Do he doesn't want to say that. He right. knows this it's answer just, as well. It's just like a Muslim. So, so, so he said it. Unbeliever. He's, he's if you were such a Muslim, you start You're thinking what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you start moving the away from Islam. Which he wanted to know. And I don't have a problem with that. I can say there's truth to that. But he won't. Because he wants to give you flowers and chocolates. He wants to give you flowers and chocolates. But come on, be fair. He, he didn't even answer that question. Well, Be fair now. No, we didn't answer that. Yeah, yeah. No, no. If if someone refuses to hear you, uh, sorry, if one of your fellow Christians refuse, is doing a sin and you advise him, but he doesn't want to listen to you, he doesn't want to hear your advice, tell it to the church. But if he refuses even to listen to the church, let him be to you like a heathen and a tax collector. So now you tell us. I told you what kafir means. Now you tell us what is a heathen and how are you supposed to treat a heathen? Because this verse is saying that if there's a really bad Christian, he's not taking your advice, he's not taking the advice of the church, let him be to you like a heathen. So explain to us what does this mean? What does heathen mean? And how are you supposed to be treating them? Okay. Let, me, let me explain. Infidel, infidel. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me explain you. Let me explain, explain me, you. explain me. If uh, a person want to follow Satan, hmm? And uh, I'm telling him, this is God's way, and this is Satan's way. God's way will lead you to everlasting life. Satan's way will lead you to everlasting destruction. He don't want to listen. He keep on uh, doing what uh, is leading to uh, him to everlasting I understand, yeah. He doesn't want to worship a human being, he wants to worship God. Carry on. That's that's his choice now. That's his choice. That's yeah, yeah. his choice now. Yeah. What will you do? Finally, you will leave him on his on his way. We on don't leave way. you, Uncle. We yeah. keep on giving you advice every no. week. On, on his way. But we didn't give up unless, on you. Unless unless he himself realize that he is on the wrong track. Yeah? Yeah. It's not uh, that uh, you are uh, 
holding him from the ear yeah. and bringing him back. Yeah, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He has to have his own choice. Right. That's right, right. that what God okay. has given him, yeah. a and, power and, of choice yes. to everybody. And you will not associate it with him in the meantime. Okay, fine, fair. And he's a heathen though, right? So I'm a heathen, is that right? In the Christian church. You won't answer the tough question. Right? In the Christian church, if a person refuses to listen to the elders, not young, but the elders saying, listen, this is wrong, you need to stop doing it. And that person decides, no, I'm going to keep on doing it. The church has said, well, we'll exercise that, we don't want you near us, because he will start making other people follow his ideas. That's why they kicked him out of the church, say, if, you, if we kept you, you stop, other people will start following you. We don't want that. Yeah. You believe in something, and he's making it. Listen, what you're, what you're saying makes sense. It makes sociological sense. I agree with you. That makes sense. Even it makes secular sense as well. But the reason he doesn't want to too readily acknowledge that right now is it doesn't fit in with the flowers and chocolates that he wants to share of Christianity. But listen to me one minute. Even it makes secular sense. If I was an atheist, if I'm a hardened atheist, yeah. do I want my son hanging out with Muslims all the time? Probably not. Probably not. If, if, if I'm a communist, do I want my kid hanging out with uh, like liberal democratic uh, thinking people all the time? Probably not. So it's not an Islamic thing. And I would say it's not just a Christian thing. I would say it just makes sociological sense. Okay. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too, so please consider sharing and we will bring more videos in the future inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.